Hey, what's up guys? Meal Skull here. Welcome back to Rivals of Aether. Um, yeah, when we left off, we played through Forsburn's story. Um, let's see here. In the story mode. Yeah, so, uh, we played through the fi Fire Capital uh, missions. Or I guess, uh, story. And yeah, it's going pretty good. I'm halfway through what's unlocked in the story. Um, next we have Zetterburn, Merchant Port. Oh, Zetterburn's fun. Not my main. Like I said, I love Orcane. Um, my second favorite would probably be Crag. Good old Crag. But yeah, um, we're gonna do Zetterburn's story today. 37 seconds from a guy named Zetterburn. <laughs> nice. Zetterburn. Zetterburn and his loyal legion return to the fire capital after vanquishing the Air Armada ships that preyed upon the Fire Emperor's far flung trade routes. However, their triumphant return is met not by laurels and celebrations, but by black banners and dirges. The fire capital is deep in mourning. Ah, the Emperor. The Emperor died. Zitterburn and Forsburn's dad. And Maple? You're the one to blame. Not really, but... Now Zetterburn has some cool moves. Um... Oh, look at that gimp! Seven seconds! Nice! That's gotta be gold. Oh, my first gold, guys. Oh man, 7 seconds, 7.6 seconds, that's killer. If only I could do that every time. Zetterburn discovers that his father, Emperor Renburn, has been assassinated with a famous dagger of an inconceivable suspect, Forsburn, Zetterburn's beloved brother. Meanwhile, Minister of Trade Loxodon is to be crowned the new emperor. The Fire Council convinces a distraught Zetterburn that this was his father's wish. Zetterburn, a loyal citizen of fire, accepts the council's will. He pledges his loyalty to Emperor Loxodont and vows revenge upon the traitorous Forsburn. I was gonna say, he better be in the lineup. Ah, good old Raster. Man, I, got, I did a flawless on that one too, apparently. I like, uh, Zerburn. I'm okay with him. I'm not gonna say I'm, like, the best ever with any character, honestly, but... Um... Bye-bye. Man, I'm tearing it up with him, though, ain't I? This might be a five-minute video. No. <laughs> cool. That night. Forsburn materializes in Zetterburn's imperial chambers. Forsburn pleads for his brother's aid and accuses the council of murdering their father. Certain of Forsburn's guilt, Zetterburn flies into a rage, attacking his once beloved brother. Forsburn barely manages to escape with his life. Oh, this, this game, guys, it's so good. I am loving this story mode. Alright. Forsburn. Now, the neutral air with um, Forsburn is super good. This one right here. See the little, like the sonic spin? It's just like, it's got just a little, just enough hang time too that like. Now, see what I mean? And if you do it, like, just right... Oh man, it just tears them up. Ah, not so hot on that one. Pretty cool, though. Man, I'm just flying through this one. 
Minute 21 total. It's not horrible. It's bound to get harder, though. Coronation Day dawns. The citizens present Loxodon with the Flame Imperium, a sacred torch granting the rule of fire. Zetterburn watches, exhausted and doubtful. Suddenly, a water creature appears and steals the flame. It is the elusive Orcane. Orcane leaps with the flame into a mysterious purple puddle and is gone. Oh, stuff. Man. Not my. Not Orcane. Crag. It's gotta be you. You're, you're to blame. And you know what? I can break your rocks too, buddy. Oh. I didn't know you could grab again with that. That's pretty interesting, actually. Oh! Here it goes. Oh. oh, come on now. Bam! Okay, not so hot on that one. Finally over a minute on a stage, though. And I haven't lost a life. I think this is the one, guys, where I finally beat it with three lives. The Fire Council orders Zetterburn to retrieve the flame. Ever loyal, the Fire General unleashes a maelstrom on, ma on Merchant Port, the home of Orcane. Zetterburn rampages through the unprepared city until he reaches the docks where he finds a purple orcane guarding the ceremonial torch. Oh man, rival. It's not the real orcane, Zetterburn. Oh. I should have done a fireball at the beginning. No! I get as much damage as I can early because he's gonna knock this one out. It's almost inevitable. So the thing is, he just. Oh, really? Christ. Oh. Okay, yep. I kind of figured that was gonna happen though. Oh no, that was dumb. That was the stupidest move. I was just turned the wrong way. And that, that's one of those moves you can't, like, cancel out of. Okay, three lives. You know, I just lost two, one to a dumb mistake. Really? Come on. <laughs> oh, I almost didn't do it. <laughs> Under five? I doubt it. Oh, really? Sweet. That's a good time for me, anyway. All right. Well, suddenly, Orkane dissipates. The water creature was a mere shadow. Beset with doubt, his instincts ablaze, Zetterburn's eyes fall on a purple glow and plume of smoke on the western horizon. Ah, so good. Yay! I didn't get a crappy tin medal, or stone, or whatever it is. 
Alright guys, well, that's Zetterburn's story. Um... Yeah, what do you want me to say? I finished that one quick. <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, tell your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!